Being fat has become the new norm, and it is at the highest point in history globally. Here are some recent statistics from where I live in Australia, just to highlight to you how and why being overweight and fat has become the new widely accepted norm, affecting kids and adults alike. As of May 2024, in Australia, just to give you an idea of where the trend is heading globally, one in every four kids aged between two and 17, so that's 25% are either overweight or obese. Two in every three adults, so that's 67% are either overweight or obese, of which three of every four are males, men, 75%, and the remainder, three of every five are women who are either overweight or obese. So that's 60%. Ladies and gentlemen, how and why we have got to this point in history, how and why we have got to this point in society. We are living in this world right now where two in every three adults, one in every four kids are either overweight and obese, and it is widely accepted. It is completely and widely accepted. Here are the reasons why, in my opinion, this has gotten to this point. Now, before that, I'm going to highlight the elephant in the room. It doesn't take a genius to know that being overweight, and especially being obese, has significant negative implications on your health, both your physical and your mental well-being. And if you didn't already know, it is the leading cause of death globally, technically. And here is why. It has a significant increase in the risk of heart diseases, diabetes, gallbladder diseases, stroke, hypertension, and even certain types of cancers. Certain types of cancers, yes. All of which are labeled as chronic diseases. And if that wasn't enough, how about all the insane negative implications it has on your overall physical capabilities, like your day-to-day -day living, and your overall mental well-being? The obvious being an increase in bullying and self-criticism. Ladies and gentlemen, almost every human being already lives with a very high level of body dysmorphia. That has been proven time and time again by a number of studies. Now imagine increasing the likelihood of that body dysmorphia every single day. That sounds like torture to me. The fact that society has also normalized being overweight and obese has definitely also contributed to the very sharp rise we are seeing in why fat is becoming the new norm. For example, the bullshit dietary habits and the fad diets, the promotion of living more sanitary lifestyles like being couch potatoes and staying on your phone 24 seven, especially being a slave in the current corporate society. And of course, the obvious of the ever increasing fast food trends and processed snacks making its way into the majority of people's diets. For me, I think it's even more concerning that more and more kids from a younger and younger age are growing up being more overweight and obese than ever before. It is a very clear sign, a very clear indication of horrible, uneducated and lazy parents. Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, the earlier in life humans become fat, the more long-term effects it's going to have on that individual's health, period. More parents, more schools, more people in general have to be promoting less takeaway, less junk, less processed foods, and more physical activity from a very young age. No questions asked. Another recent study came out that I need to highlight. Again, as of May 2024, the study was looking at the amount of time that kids are spending in their spare time looking at screens like your phones, your desktop, TVs, etc. It found, it found, ready? 90% of their spare time is spent looking at goddamn screens. I want you to really think about how sad that sounds. No, genuinely sad. Not sad in, a, in terms of criticizing, but just genuinely sad. With this in mind, I want you to now think about the very clear 
and obvious implications that social media has been having on the minds and lives of kids and adults alike in the ever-increasing number of people becoming overweight and obese. How companies, brands, and a lot of advertising nowadays is marketed and promoted towards unhealthy body sizes and unhealthy beauty ideals. This is something I absolutely despise. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't get me wrong. I am absolutely all for acceptance. I accept and love every human being equally. And I am all for every single human being on this planet to be treated fairly and equally. But I draw the line, ladies and gentlemen, society needs to stop the crap, stop the bullshit, and stop pretending that being fat is the new norm. People need to simply cut the bullshit and consume better diets, increase daily physical activity or weekly physical activity, daily being at least 30 minutes per day, weekly being between three to four hours per week with whatever it is that they want to do, whether that's signing up to the gym, going outside and seeing the damn sun more, increasing your daily step count, playing your favorite sports, doing whatever it is that they bloody want to do. I don't care as long as it increases their heart rate and increases their muscular endurance. There are many, many unhealthy habits that people develop that contribute over time as to why they are overweight and obese. I think people really need to sit down and have a good hard look at themselves and really identify those poor, those bad habits, those systematic habits that are keeping them rooted down, rooted down and continually making the same bad mistakes. If you need help, ladies and gentlemen, you have health professionals. Education has never been more free. Ask a friend, ask a family, ask someone for advice. I guarantee they are more than willing to give that advice for free. It is absolutely despicable to me that the society, the world we live in right now has gotten to this point where being fat is held as the new norm. Please just prioritize your health more, exercise more, get the kids off the damn screens, go outside more, See the damn sun more and stop being so damn lazy. If you need help, seek it out. Simples. I'm going to again reiterate that education has never been more free in the history of humankind, more accessible in the history of humankind, and yet the world has found itself in this predicament. If you learned something from today's video, Drop a like, comment. If you'd like to debate me in the comment section, I would happily have a civilized conversation with you. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.